So my name is Peter Headley. Uh, I serve as the Director of Student Affairs and Services at the University of Saskatchewan. And I just found myself on one particular day, just sitting in my office and, um, I, you know, I could hear the, the email going and things dropping into the inbox and my phone was going. And, and I just felt very frozen at that moment to say, well, I, I can't even answer the phone. You know, I don't really want to talk to anybody. Um, just, you know, not in a good place. I don't quite know what to say, but, but this is necessary. I need to do these things. There's lots of, lots of things that, that are depending on me. But I, but I felt that uh, a responsibility to actually share something with my leadership team, so there's three other people. Um, and, and I kind of agonized a lot about what that looked like because I realized that on one level I had the absolute right to privacy if I was not doing too well. Um, but at the same time, that kind of, I felt a bit stuck with that because there's also a huge piece around honesty and, and trusting those people to say, you know what, I'm not in a very good place. So I wrote an email to them. Um, and so I really agonized over how they would read it. And then I rewrote it a little bit and then a little bit more and then walked away and then came back. Re so, and this sort of went on for about 40 minutes. And in the end, I just thought, you know what, I, I just have trust that, that, that this will be read in the right way. When I woke up in the morning, there was an email already in from one of the members of the leadership team essentially saying, well, good for you. You give a lot of yourself and it's important that you take care of yourself. And I, I was left thinking, like, what, what did I think was going to happen here? Um, and so it was, it was incredibly liberating to be able to do that, but really hard to, and, and being vulnerable in that way, there's a lot of risk involved. And I didn't realize till afterwards, that's what the barrier was for me to say, what will this mean even professionally to think that maybe one day, you know, a promotion comes up or something and, and do people look back at this moment in time when I didn't cope? Um, and I just realized that, that actually there wasn't really a thing that I needed to worry about. In fact, it was, you know, it was way more of a positive. And I think I've learned um, over the course of time, the more, the more real with people, the more authentic you can be with people about what's going on. Um, the more helpful it is. And so I think from a leadership perspective, we, we, we tell ourselves that, that we need to be invulnerable and completely bulletproof. And I just don't buy it. Um, I think you can give other people permission to, to actually share with you or, or share with those around them if they can see people modeling things.